All right, this is kind of, it's got some politics in this one, so it might annoy people. Uh, so, beware. You can fast forward it. Okay. You, you know, ever since, ever since the, the deconstructivists, radicals, started making up new words and changing, changing the definitions of long-established ones to the point where the, po the, like the post Tower of Babel problem seems like just a minor communication snafu compared to the current circumstances. It's like, pardon me, sir, the proper pronunciation is chowter, not chowter, or chow the proper pronunciation is not chowter, it's chowter. Well, therefore, you certainly would never lose your temper with something as trivial as the pronunciation of chowder. That's chowder! Chowder! I'll kill you! I'll kill all of you! Especially those of you in the jury! I don't know, it's a, but but I've been, think, I've been thinking about some of our English phrases since this, since this has been happening. Uh, like, for example, F that crap. Or sometimes you could say screw that crap or hump that crap, for example different ways to say basically the same saying which is which is you got to admit it's kind of a strange phrase it's a strange phrase because i mean is it is it even possible is it physically possible to hump to hump crap i mean you you, you have you have to be pretty crap faced to try humping crap you know i mean honestly if you're like well it's been a it's been a tough night i'm really horny and the, and the only way you can think to solve the problem is humping crap. That's not good. You're, you're, if that's the case, your mind has completely gone at that point, you know? Like, I doubt that's even been done by, like, Joe Biden, for crying out loud. Not even, he's not, I mean, he comes close. But he stops after sniffing the crap's hair, you know? That's right. He only hits on the hairy crap. Which is kind of gross in and of itself, because it's like, where the heck did that hair come from on the crap? Although there are rumors uh, that, that an act like that was observed on the infamous laptop, but we don't want to get into those because we'll get canceled. Seriously, though, how, how, do you, how do you come up with this kind of phrase? I mean, I mean even in just the realm of, of, of inanimate objects... There's got to be an inan inanimate number, an, an infinite number of things higher on the list than crap. You know, it's strange. And I don't know, maybe, maybe we should be rethinking some of our sayings. However, I, I, I think we should do so in an open, transparent, and constructive way. Not in a manipulative, power-driven, deconstructivist one. And that, of course, means that we need... We, we need new people. We need new people at the discussion table because, and let me be clear, the current ones suck. By the way, did you, did you see that guy who, who he was a podcaster that president Trump did a podcast with where the, where the, where the, where the media picked some random thing like they always do that like the, the, the mainstream of sewage media picked some random thing and started calling you know, said it was a racist dog whistle or, the, you know, the same routine or whatever. And the podcaster, the podcaster responded by like, by posting a fart at them or something like that. I, I, I honestly, that's not, that's the kind of response that, that these controversy, controversy constructors out of nothing would get in a healthy country. You know, questions, you know, questions like that. Should, they shouldn't even be part of the main discussion. Met with disdain and dismissal. That's how it's done. And I don't, I don't know who that guy is. I, I saw it on Brett Cooper. I don't even know who they are. But, but that fart gave me hope that the country has not gone completely crazy. Even though some people clearly that are like in running it are, have. But that's okay. Whatever, dude. Anyways.